SOS. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a four compartment. So there's in here is four compartments for four pieces of four different pieces of gear, four external slots. So four slots, four compartments. I'm calling this the four by four. So I find a item that's of the same size before I do my wet mold. Leather wet and uh, staple down in a pattern where you're going to be stitching and you'll have yourself a nice little container to store your tool so there's this is the main piece to start with and you're going to work around this and you're going to think about what's next right so each time you do one of these you want to think about what the next item is going to be like for me it's going to be a uh, snap so I'm going to want to put a snap in place first, but first I want to lay out the tools to see how much room I'm going to need for each tool before I lay out my snap. And usually I like to lay out the snap first before I start cutting everything else because I won't have any more room to put the snap in there. Once I start connecting all these pieces of leather together, I'm not going to be able to get in there with a tool to add a snap or um, any other item so you've got to think about the steps of these what uh, what's going to be next what's first and stuff like that so you need to keep that in mind as you build these perfect little shape here for a box all right now i can remove these items all right i'm just going to put in a large snap just gonna put it in right down at the very bottom I'm gonna go low this time I think low is the best bet for this project I'm just gonna go all the way down in there that way before I start putting all this stuff together and then I have a hard time trying to get to everything it's much easier to get to everything if I just do it like this right Uh, it's in place all right I can cut down what I don't need at the moment I could use the spare parts for something else Let's see how much did I cut off of that one then you take it and put it over here so you kind of know about how much to cut off the other side as long as they're kind of close. Line that up with that. Now this is going to be kind of short. You could add, if you want to add something to the bottom here, some type of loop that's used for something else, like a paracord string, lanyard or something. You could utilize the bottom portion of this for that type of thing if you need to. And I could size this up with this. Just verify that it's straight. Cut off any excess in a minute. So it is just a little off. But I'm going to bow this out some so it's not going to matter. It's going to be pushed out more so it'll be straight after that all right that should do it for that while i'm at it i'm going to go ahead and cut out the other pieces that i need so i can just get to trucking these are going to be my spacers i'll show you in a minute and i'm just trying to get an idea of the backstop and the tongue of this let's just go ahead and use so you want to get the full length, the total amount that you need to do your backstop. This is going to be your backstop and your tongue. So it would work something like this. So you want to know how much material you're going to need, all of the material you're going to need. So you want to do it all in one stop and not make another trip. Rain, okay, 
<laughs> environments. That's what I meant to say. Dang it. Uh, environments. Okay, so in different environments, this thing's going to end up in. And I'm going to, I'm using the piece, it's just a little bit wider. See how it's just a little bit wider there? And there's a little bit more room. I've got to cut off some pieces of this. And I want it like that. That way I get that nice edge exactly the same as the other item. And I want this to be layers. And this is going to be one layer that divides this tool, this tool from everything else. So this is going to be like a divider. Now, first off, I want to use gel super glue. And the reason why, and I know somebody out there that does leather works will be like, eh, well, you could just use blah, 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 blah. Well, the thing is with, uh, with this, the reason why I use this is because it's, uh, it will not tear apart. The item that I'm putting together here will, won't tear apart. And no matter what rain no matter what kind of weather extreme cold uh, the leather itself will completely deteriorate before the glue does and that's the reason why i use it for stuff like this and i only use it on projects like this kind of have to for for things that go outdoors a lot i've just kind of learned my lesson with things that i make and it starts to split apart and then you get uh, real upset because your stuff is falling apart okay so so put this together and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my clips in place to put this all together all right I want to show you this for, for anybody out there who needs to see it but with these clips you can get these and uh, and a heavy pack, you know, quite a few of them at the dollar store. And you want to use duct tape around the the, the teeth of them or uh, take them apart and sand the edges off so they won't leave teeth marks on your project. Because if you don't, it's going to put little teeth marks all over your project. I want to make sure I had enough of those before I going here right. now you're gonna let that dry then you're gonna we're gonna cut out the edges on this and then it's uh we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make another layer so a, another a divider cut out the edges and all I do is cut those edges off just like this and when we're done with the project you sand all the edges this gives me time to work on any other little kink that might be something like that now I can I need another piece here that's going to be kind of unusual Let's see. I don't want to cut that out. Let's just do that. This piece is going to be a little bit different because I've got to cut the center out of it to house stuff. And I'm going to need a couple of these. not just not just one i'll need uh i'll need two of these this is how i'm going to make my compartments for storing stuff in you can do this with any any pouch you need places to hold stuff compartments this is how you would do it so now i've got this done so now i just need to know width wise how much to cut out and I'm just gonna cut there and there and then we'll go all the way in so you line this up just like that 
and then draw your line come to right about here and then what are you doing there? giving you lights uh -huh. But so we get the exact line that I want. It's gonna be a little bit wider. Then I just gotta cut all that out. This kind of gives me an idea of where to cut. And then I gotta do one more of these once I get this one cut out. So now this gives me a chance I can straighten the top edge of this off since I'm not tracing. Fixes that, picks up that top edge there. All right, for cutting this one out, you don't, <laughs> you can't use the wheel for this one. You're just gonna have to do the old-fashioned scissor trick. <laughs> Reach in there and cut it out. Now, uh, whatever you draw on here is fine because it's hidden anyway. No one's gonna see it. So, cut more, cut less. Whatever you would like to do. Because it doesn't even matter. No one's going to see it anyway. But you want to get another piece. So we're just going to cut out another little piece here. And I put most of this stuff that's oddly shaped in my scrap bin. Because I end up using this stuff. I use Ayurveda stuff. Stuff like this ends up being straps. I just try and envision what the thing's going to look like next. So I try... I'm always trying to stay a step ahead of whatever it is that I'm uh, cutting or working on. All right, so I would lay this out on here. Take my little pen. Like I said, none of this stuff matters. Whatever I draw on here, no one's going to see this anyways because it's all covered up. I'm just trying to get myself another template made. And I don't want to use the cutting wheel. I just want to cut this one out by hand just to show you it can be done. Most times when I make these videos, I usually just put on some music and play music the whole time. These videos take a lot of time. So please share the videos. I mean, because it takes a lot of time to do all the, all the editing and things like that for these videos. Usually with... This is the way I used to do my leather craft videos. When I quit doing them this way, I would just play music because sometimes people would get entertained and want to watch, but then, then again, some people don't want to watch, you know, a, a nothingness of just talking or whatever. Some people like it. Some people say it's chill. I like it regardless, music or no music. But, and people will tell me I should do a video on supplies. What do I need for leather craft? Well, you're seeing it. <laughs> what am I using? What tools do I need? Did you watch my video? Did you watch the video? What tools am I using? What tools am I using in my video? Well, what is that called? This is a pair of scissors. What was that other tool? That was a pen. <laughs> I keep things pretty simple when I'm doing this stuff. I don't want it to be be difficult. Someone to have problems trying to make this stuff. I want it to be easy. All right, moving on. Now I want to glue this. Gotta love the gel. You gotta push it down each time. All right, so we're gonna put this on first, and then we can move on to the next piece. I'll show you what the other one was for in a minute. So might be a question about what on earth is he doing? So, one piece of time. This is gonna be the smallest, this is gonna be the smallest multi-tool carrier survival kit that I've ever done this is going to be the smallest one that I've ever done the most compact that I've ever done 
I'm trying to just take up what's needed and nothing more because I want this to be something I can take with me this is going to be my personal one usually when I do these every time you see me do something on YouTube it's some place for somebody else it's not even it's not even for me <laughs> I want one like you did that one time. That was for somebody else. <laughs> that was somebody else's. So usually each one of these are unique and different because somebody else asked for that. All right, so while that's drying, as you can see, that's going to be a space. And that little bit of space between will allow for the, uh, this is the, uh, the Leatherman bit set. So it'll allow that to slide right in there. And I don't want it to be, uh, I don't want this area to be super wide. I, I just want it to have enough space uh, between there. As you can tell, I left enough room on each side. So if it needs to spread out a little bit, it can. And I just want it to be just enough room for each item to fit perfectly in there without extra space I don't need. And plus I want to be able to you know slide something like a saw bit in there because the saw bit will actually work with the tool set it's just an extra saw to go with the the Leatherman wave here this will take a few more minutes to dry and then I can I can add the next layer and then we can add the next the final layer uh, the next layer has to be the same size as the uh, case so I'll have to cut I'll have to cut another piece out with this laid out over the top of it again. So we'll be laying this over the top with glue and I'll be cutting out the leftovers again. So I get to do that one more time. Okay. All right, so next, do the next layer real quick. One thing that's, <laughs> what's funny is I'll finish this up and someone's gonna make a YouTube video about this video. So I'm just <laughs> I think I could be just like that. Let me see if I can make it better. I can do that. Right. See if I can do it like this. Maybe like this. Let's just do it like this. And line that up. The bottom here. Maybe I don't have to cut the bottom. And then just cut the sides. Alright. There we go. It's going to be a little bit different this time. All right. Then I might have to cut this one out. <laughs> and I still got to put this, still got to put this one on. <laughs> all right adding another layer i'm actually going to go ahead and add three layers i don't have a use for the third one yet but i got to thinking about it and kind of would like to have a slot just to be able to put like some kind of uh ready man survival card or something um, i don't I don't particularly have one in mind at the moment of which one I'd want to use, but you guys have probably seen the Ready Man Survival things. And I might actually add a slot for that. I don't know. Uh, I don't have one right now, but in the future I might. It's good to go ahead and plan ahead, right? Right. You're saying right? Mm-hmm. You're adding to my video? Yes. I wasn't talking to you, you know that, right? You need some more charm in your video. <sighs> Whatever. I need some sass. Charm. Charm? Sassy I need, charm? I need sassy charm. There you go. I need my sassy charm for my video. Yep. Right. Add another layer to this. This is going to be out of control, man. Three freaking layers, man. Who does that? This yeah. guy. That's right. 
Someone's going to copy that too. They're going to be like, I want to be like this. And pretty soon there's going to be another dude out there somewhere with a T-Rex running around in videos or My Little Pony characters or uh, Dino the Dino or something, right? Somebody's going to copy that. Wait, did someone copy that already? I think someone already did that. Everybody's trying to copy everybody. I'm going to copy myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing a really bad impression of myself. Get up in the morning. I don't even know who I am. Who, uh, who is this weird bearded freak? All right. Okay, another one to dry. And then we can add another layer. All right, next layer. Taking you guys along for every bit of this. For someone out there who wants to watch this. And I know it might not get, I know this video might not get a lot of views, but someone out there will appreciate that I took them along because they wanted to make this themselves. They wanted to see what in the world I did to make that happen. Right? What are you laughing about over there? You almost f bomb. Yeah. I was thinking about it. <laughs> I was like, eh, this is supposed to be a child friendly show. I probably shouldn't f bomb today. Although I'd like to sometimes. No, you do it now. Uh, when I run around mm -hmm. smashing my fingers and toes. Yep. Yeah. People think for a second, I don't. Oh, well, he doesn't cuss. I'm sure he does. He's a jarhead. He's going to cuss. Introduce me to a jarhead that doesn't use profanity. I want to see him. You know any, babe? Mm. No. You ever met Jarhead that doesn't use profanity? Mm -mm. Oh, me neither. Even the really, even the really nice ones, you like, you look at them and you go, man, he's just so nice. That's like that dude that listens to like that angry death metal. <laughs> he's like so nice and friendly at work, and, and he's like, hey man, you want to go get a cheeseburger? You know, he's just a lovable guy and. Yeah, man, let's go. Let's go get a cheeseburger. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, we'll take my car. Cool. And then you get in, he starts the car up, and it's like, come on, come on, da, 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 and just, and it's like, you all right with that, uh, dude? I'm fine. I just it doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> you don't you don't fit the part very well. It's like, I'm just making sure you're okay with this music. Okay, it's fine, man. Yep. But it's so funny. It's And it's always that tiny little car, man. That tiny, angry little car. It's always an angry little something. Some crappy Volvo-looking thing or something, right? Mm -hmm. For the sure. Gotta have the dents in the door and stuff. No bumper stickers. It has to be, like, low-key. It's kind of like, like a sleeper, angry vehicle. Anyway. All right, I gotta cut off the rest of this. All right, time for another layer. Oh yeah. Three layers of awesome, right? Okay. Next is four, if you count where the tool goes. Dun, dun, dun. Four layers of awesome. Dun, dun. Four layers of awesome. Do, 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 do. Oh. It's been difficult. Difficult. I want to know who watches the channel that is that guy. That listens to like some crazy heavy head banging stuff in their car. Who do you think would be that person? Can you think of like. 
You know any people that are like that? I think Chipper's probably like that. Yeah. He probably listens to that angry music. I think he does. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Yeah. Definitely. There's somebody. Band of the Red Hand, what do you think? I bet that dude, I bet that dude had bangs. Good possibility. Good possibility. Somebody with the name like Band of the Red Hand is definitely somebody who had bangs. I'm just saying. Or, I don't know. Something like that. I don't picture them listening to country music, do you? No. <laughs> It's funny, every time I sing a country song, you have no idea what song I'm singing. It cracks me up. That's not true. And most of them, though, you don't know what they are. I grew up a lot on Garth Brooks, Alan Jackson, Brooks and Don. I was singing Alan Jackson yesterday. Ruth you had no clue. Hair, you completely changed the words to something <laughs> totally bizarre that did not make sense. I did not change the words. Something about a hoochie mama. <laughs> I did not and say. And a coochie. I did not say hoochie mama. You said a hoochie mama. And I a said coochie. way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. You said a hoochie coochie. I did coochie. not say. There was some hoochie coochie in the song, I'm telling you. I don't think there was. Oh, Lord mercy. Why well, don't I talk to you sometimes? All right. So I got. That's one and two. Right there. And. Boom, and boom, just like that. And I want those to be like that. That way there's tension on them, and it just, they, that just it works better, trust me. And it, now I've got one more layer once I add that back, back half on. And that is where it gets crazy, because that's gonna be the, the flap and everything. That's gonna be the whole nine. And I've got to uh, figure out the flap. So you'll figure out where it stops and what this is going to look like. I want to have a certain circle to it. So I kind of want it to have a circle and like a swoosh. So I want it to be like two tiers. Two tiers to it. Alright, next up on the back side of this, I need to add my clip. So I'm going to just use the pen, mark the area that I need to add my clip. Fold this together and take the scissors, since it is thin enough, I should be able to get this cut. Perfect, 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 perfect. Chop. Chop. Now I gotta go around the circle. Mama, are these the ones my robot had? Mom, these are the same ones my robot had. Mm-hmm. I just didn't know anything about this. Mm -hmm. Now, that in there, just that. Now I can add my, there we go, add my rivet. Got to go all the way in the other room to do this. I like that side, the back side, and it does not matter how you put it in there. I just happen to like that showing. There's that. And the whacking tool. Let's get an extension for the whacking tool. Nice and solid. 
Ta da! Now I've got a perfect clip to clip onto my jeans. Now you can cover this up if you like. You don't have to, but you could cover this up if you like. If it does, if it bothers you, you know, if the items you're going to be putting in there might get scratched on that or whatever, just add another layer to it and then apply it to what you're working with. Something you could do. All right, now I can glue this together. I'll worry about this part later. I've got too much more work to do. So I've still got to do the fold, the stitching, everything else. But either way, it's going to turn out really cool. almost over with the glue part the glue won't matter because I'm going to be stitching this all up anyway none of that stuff's going to matter any Just the time gear. Sometimes you gotta bend this stuff around. <sighs> so I got that all clipped up. I think that should do it. Let that sit for a minute. Alright, so you when you do these, you want to roll here turn this around it's probably easier to see on this side you want to roll up the items you want to roll up the items when you do this so you roll it up and i'm going to be stitching between here so i'm going to get this wet and it'll spread out but once you get it in place just apply some glue and hold it and it'll stay in place while you work See, I've crossed over that bottom piece there, so all of it will be stitched together. Mm -hmm. So nothing will get left out. Both sides are going to look like that. And I'm just going to stitch them onto this as I go. One side, I just basically set this where I want it, and it's just going to get stitched down with the rest of it. So. All right.
right, so I've got this wet, and this is kind of how I do it when it comes to this type of thing. I get the item wet and then start stitching. Go back and forth like a braid on the back side. Just I'm stitching the beginning to the leather. So that's how I do that. And with this piece here, I'm doing different sections. So it won't be, it's kind of, it's kind of going to be like a, it's not a saddle stitch, but I'm going to be doing different sections. So instead of using the, uh, you know, running around it back and forth using the same strand, I'm going to be doing different sections here. So I'm just doing, right now I'm just doing the top and then I'm going to cut and start over. So, it's going to be a whole bunch of different strands. Like I said, this is going to be used for a lot of different activities. And plus, I'm going to be wet molding a little bit more into this later. There it is. That way, if one stitch comes undone, it'll keep going. I'll be running all around this thing, stitching it up, and back in a jiffy. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I, I finished stitching, so I went ahead and got all the pieces put in there, just to, for fitment purposes to make sure it all fits. And I trimmed down the sides. I wanted to make sure that I could see. I wanted to be able to see the stuff here. And I'm going to be adding some artwork now. I'm, I was trying to make my, I was torn between a few different things as far as ideas for artwork. And I always get stuck in these stumps these, where I'm, I'm thinking of artwork and I'm trying to figure out what I want on here. And I am thinking now, uh, I want a trident. I want a trident right here. And... It's kind of a cross between like a Neptune symbol. Uh, it, those of you that are familiar with the symbol of Neptune, and it's not going to be the symbol of Neptune, it's gonna be the symbol of a trident, but I'm gonna do it in the Neptune symbol si uh, style and kind of have that, uh, but I want it to look aggressive, so it's gonna have some curves to it instead of just being straightforward and aligns. Most times when you see the, uh, the artwork, the symbol, because you, when you say trident, there's a symbol for that. So there's a trident symbol. So I'm going to go with, you know, I'm saying I'm going to do a uh, symbol of it. So I was uh, just drawing out, like I could draw out some artwork. And so, sometimes I, uh, I do these things and I, I, I come up with these little ideas. I just kind of scribble them on paper or whatever. And you can go for something like this. I usually do like the, the little arrow symbol. You know, most of the time, some of my artwork, you, most of you guys keep up with the channel know that I can do some crazy stuff with the artwork. And uh, I do tons of weird stuff. And kind of like this, right? You know, with the with the bear paw, everybody wants a bear paw, but you need like this, you need this huge section to do a bear paw because it's all Celtic. That's all Celtic knot work right there. And in order to do Celtic knot work, you need a space for that. <laughs> most people request this on something really tiny and I cannot pull it off. It's like, like a watch band or something. It's just too much art going on there for me to be able to get in there, especially when I'm using, because uh, I brand it on, and instead of using like a pen or something, I'm branding, and branding is a lot harder to do than, but I digress. So uh, for this, it's going to be real simple. Now I'm going to draw nice straight lines at that point when I do this, but uh, let's just pretend 
We've got this nice little straight line here. We're going to go all the way up. And then I want this to be kind of aggressive. So let's do this aggressive curve. And then let's do like an aggressive kind of going in and out. Aggressive, like circles, you know what I mean? So you can do like circles, like this, boom. Just come all the way up with that. I know I'm cutting into one, I just got them drawn, but that's fine. Do these aggressive curved like slants. Like that, that. And then pour that. We'll we'll fill those in real sharp. Like that. So those are gonna be really wide when I'm done. I don't think I want them that, that wide, but something along those lines. And uh, the symbol of Neptune, there's a slash line through it like this, or you can go straight across, uh, but that's the symbol of Neptune. I'm not doing that today. Uh, you could add whatever you like when you're doing uh, a trident, but I want it to be this aggressive, these aggressive spikes, something like that. Not, not that aggressive, just, you know what I mean? And you could do one angle, you, you could just do one side of spikes. You don't have to do, you know, these uh, these uh, house rooftop type deals, but uh, something like that, right? I'll just kind of give you an idea of where I'm going with this. back on <laughs> I guess you guys would have missed a couple parts in there wouldn't you? yeah I went ahead and added a little bit more uh, art to this some fire and stuff like that it's just my personal stuff I mean it's just this is for me I'm kind of goofing off but yeah just uh, you can use uh, oil dye and uh, there's there's different kinds. There's pro dye. There's uh, oil dye. There's different uh, different types. It's good to have the oil if you want something to move around a lot. If uh, you're going to be stretching it out, moving it around, you know, items going in and out. Uh, some folks don't like it because uh, they don't want whatever it is they put in it oily. It's like putting a firearm in in an oil dyed holster. You know, it's going to be a really it's going to be really oily when you pull it out. <laughs> and I always get that. I never see oil on the channel. Because I use, when I do oil, I usually oil, use oil dye. Uh, something with a lot of oil in it. And you can use, uh, now in my earlier videos, I used to use like Vaseline and, and stuff like that. That's all stuff that you can use with, uh, with the dye. In between here. Make sure I get that. I gotta move these around a little bit. Try and get between here because it'll be the last time you see those. Let's coat it really good and it'll change colors when it dries. It won't look the same. It'll be a totally different color once it dries. I'll have to get all this fuzzy stuff off. Hey, Tom, the bow. Bow? Yeah. Chase wants the bow? I don't think you guys need to be bringing it outside. Look, we're playing with the bow. Uh-huh. Let's not get the bow, you're playing with one. Okay, kid. Anyway. 
a lot of fuzzies on this one. These things, sometimes it varies if they're going to be good or bad or whatever. Sometimes they get a lot of fuzzy stuff on them. And it just starts to come off and then you got to sit there and pick them off. That, that drives me nuts when I get one that's jacked up. Usually it's not like that. Anyway. So keep doing this till you coat it all. I usually get inside here. Up and down. Get the whole inside done. And I gotta open these up. And get in here. Each one of these. Like I said, I didn't want a lot of space between these. I wanted these to be really tight. Because uh, as far as the tools go, I probably won't be using all the tools as much. And I don't want them coming out. I don't want them getting rusty or rained on. So I want those sections there to be kind of tight. Not let anything in there. Anyways. Just like that. Let me get this last one here. This will look totally different. Once it's dried, it'll it'll like change colors when it dries. It's crazy. All right, back in a few. Hope you enjoyed the project. Here it is, and hope you enjoyed the longer style video. Some people want longer videos. Some people want shorter videos. Here's the. You take out the flashlight. I'm going with the reason why. I'll, I'll explain. The reason why I'm going with this uh, this style O light, and you don't have to have an O light, is you can put in cheap AAA batteries, and it has multiple power modes. Anyway, figured I would share. <laughs> it's not a review. <laughs> All right, uh, here's an extension for uh, the Leatherman and fell rod fat wood handle you can shave that off and uh, start a fire there is a space pen because I do a lot of writing a lot of people uh, I've seen a lot of people carry these space pens it's just sleek it it's a uh, same type of, of uh, pressurized see it's just a pressurized that's all it is it's nothing fancy you know you can uh, I've got a whole drawer full of those but this just is a very good case for the gravity, for the uh, pressurized ink. Inside here, I've got my Leatherman Wave and my different sets of tips. That's one, two, three layers. So I've got three layers of space and uh, I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna go with for the back yet. I've just kind of put in a uh, box cutter for now. So it's just one of those flat box cutters. So anyway, uh, clip. And all that so now I can uh, I can slap this on my side and and rock out so here we go and there it is thank you guys and gals for watching God bless take care